Hello and welcome back to Sustainable Teacher. If it is your first time here, my name is Leticia and I'm happy to meet you. And if you've been here before, I'm happy to see you again. In today's video, we are going to talk about something related with structures. We already talked about structures in a previous video. I leave it uh, up here if you're interested on watching this. But today we are going to focus on structural components instead of the structures itself. If you are interested in this video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So, okay, now we know everything about structures, of uh, the main type of structures, uh, about the, the structural failures, but we, we can also talk about things inside the structure, like element components of them. The main structural elements are, let's say, six types of elements. Foundations, which are the base that we are going to build down our structure before our structure to make it stronger, to make it more stable, or if there is an earthquake, to make the building safe in these cases. Usually, if you see, like, when, when they start building, they dig before on the floor, they create the foundation and then they start building up. So that, that first step of creating the foundation is critically so important. In any type of building or a bridge or um, tunnels, any, any kind of structure. Then arches. Arches are a way of doing like a hole that you can pass through in a wall in your building. Actually, it seems easy. But it's so interesting that the, the way that the force, the, the weight is distributed in an arch. So they are a good way to create like a door or a window in a, in a wall, but being able to support that weight. Then braces. I mentioned braces before. They are like cables that wire, that support suspended structures that make them being able to be hung on. The typical braces and bridges, but we can also talk about them in tents. When we talk about tension in two, two videos ago, I think I mentioned them. So this kind of structure, this kind of braces are used to make things tense or to hang things. Then we have pillars and columns. And you can tell me now, but the idea, pillars and columns are the same. But this is not always the case. A column is always a pillar, but a pillar is not always a column. So a column is a type of pillar. But in the case of columns, columns always, but always will support a big load, a lot of weight. And they will support like really big compression stresses. In the case of pillars, it's not always the case. Uh, so a pillar can be just simply uh, decorative, but a column, no. If we have a column, it has the function of supporting weight. Okay, that's the difference. The pillar can or not support weight. And finally, we have beams. Beams are those horizontal bars. It could be visible or invisible. It could, it should, it could be inside the roof. And they are also, the, the function is also to support weight. But in this case, is to avoid bending, okay? So they, they are there to avoid the roof to bend. And usually in any kind of structure or element, we can use different type of profile and trusses. So that kind of, we can say like, if we, imagine we cut a beam or a column, we cut it transversally. The, the, the shape that we'll find, the section that we'll find, that's the profile. And we have closed profile or open profiles. And there are lots and, and lots and lots of different shapes, like T, L, C, U profiles, or O or square. And also we can have trusses. Trusses are like armors to make a structure stronger. And we have roof trusses, like roof armors, 
or also they are used in bridges. And we also have different shapes and each shape has a name, like the king post, the, the fink, the fan, the hood, the scissor, the brat. And also, actually, brats are used also for breeches. And in the case of breeches, we also have the bowstring or the warren, among others, okay? Because there are lots of trusses and sections and profiles. And this is everything for today's video. I hope you like it. I hope that now you understand better which are the elements, the components inside each type of or any kind of structures. Leave it in the comments if you ever thought about this about the components that of inside a structure or you just saw the structure and you say building, bridge, house, shelf and that's all. Leave in the comments everything you want to say and of course see you soon.